everybody, welcome back to another episode of my 30 Days to Die series. You can see it's day 55. We are getting pretty darn close now. Just going to turn this off to the uh, Horde Knight. Um, been doing a tremendous amount of work. We've got some darts here for our dart traps. I'm going to take you out back. Uh, let's go down and get the motorcycle first. And I'll take you out back and show you what we've accomplished. Let's just grab this because we're going to take this with us today. I gassed it up so we're ready to go. Oh yeah, uh, so while I was working away outside, I guess we had a partial horde spawn in the backyard and they dug their way through here and came up and were sitting in here. When I came back from working on the horde base, like they've got, like there's little bits of damage everywhere here. And I have no idea how they got up to do some of this damage. Like they had, like they knocked these windows out and they did, like damaged all the way up here. So my only guess is they somehow spawned on here. I have no idea what they did. But anyway, um, then when I came back in, they knocked through this door. It was a cop and three other zombies, and they decided to walk their way up here. So I shot them from up here, killed them. I had to replace some of this stuff down here. But uh, yeah, they made their way in. It was kind of crazy. So I've upgraded all the doors here too. Not that it makes that much difference, but um, we've got a nice little fortress now going on. So let's get out here. It's going to take us a little while to get out to the second uh, construction. We have ability to get there from here now. Yeah, come on. There we go. It's going to close all the doors on the way because we're not going to be coming back in this way. Uh, where's my frames? Here we go. We're going to need these to get out there. Oops. I've made it so that um, there's a small bridge right now to get out here. But the zombies won't see any way to get there. I put a second layer of... Um, of um, metal uh, bars here because when you walk along here you take damage from the spikes under there for or the uh, barbed wire for some reason so I had to kind of like do that just to be able to get across here okay let's do this and we'll pick these three up all right let's get out here so this is on two pillars down here I'll show you that in a minute and then this is our little uh, setup base I still got to get uh, some more iron rods or iron bars to finish covering the top here we got two layers of uh, barbed wire and I figure you know what I'm not going to do a lot of shooting I figure we can get some help with that with the shooting and taking care of the zombies we're going to be going back out that way so I'll leave it so what I did is I hooked up um, we've got four dart traps here each one I'm just going to put um, 500 rounds in each one for now um, and I will probably be putting more in We've got two on each side. They're going to fire straight down the side. So any zombies on the side are just toast. All I, all I have to do is flip this switch to turn them on. And they will start firing. And then we're going to be right in here. Uh, firing straight down here. Right down the center. Um, going to use the SMG for the Horde Knight. So we should have that going. Now there's double layer of bars on here too. Just in case. And I'll show you outside how I've got that set up. So the generator is set up and ready to go. This is just an escape door. Uh, if for whatever reason I need to bail and run out the back, I can do that. But most likely, like if they somehow break through all of this to get in here, like here, this gives us ability to see down the sides here so we can shoot them if we need to. Um, these are protected by one layer of bars, the uh, spike traps, which I don't think will be taking much damage anyway. They're just going to be firing straight down here. So as soon as the zombies start to come down, I'll probably start firing at them. Once they get to a certain point, I'll just turn around and flip this switch on, right? And then that'll be, uh, that'll be, actually I should probably test this. So if we turn this on, yeah, it's just going to murder them. It, I just, all I have to flip the switch and just, just, it's just going to start firing <laughs> down here. So both sides will be handled by the dart traps. I mean, we won't get experience for it, but it'll kill the zombies relatively quickly. Uh, and then up here we've got. A little cage this is just wooden bars but a little cage so when we come up here if there's vultures we can see them shoot them and if we need to bail out of here right we just take off straight down that way I've also got this light here that's that's turned on by that battery so it'll turn on and uh, we'll be able, hopefully be able to see down here the arc says it's going down this way but I won't know for sure until nighttime happens plus I got a helmet light too right so we got we'll have enough light to see what's going on and then if for whatever reason this base like I don't know, cacks out or somehow we can just run back across there and get back into the old one and finish up the horde that way. But 
I still have to lay down all the spikes here. That's the last thing I'm going to do. Uh, so what this is designed to do uh, is the zombies will come down the center here. And the ones in the center will be moving relatively slow. Um, well, they'll be moving pretty fast. But the ones on the side will just slow down. And they'll be just murdered by the dart traps. And I'll just concentrate on whoever's coming down the center here. I'll have lots of ammo to deal with that. Uh, and then they're going to try, most likely, to try and get across. And they will slip and fall. So there's only a one block gap here. So they think there's going to be enough to uh, jump across here. And if they get on the sides trying to jump across, they're going to be hit by the spike traps and knocked down here. And if they're in the center, it'll be hit by me and knocked down here. So then they have to come all the way back up and around. I'm going to layer um, spikes all around here. Now, I haven't finished building up this way yet. Uh, that'll be the last thing I do. I just don't want any mobs to be um, wrecking the base um, before the actual horde night begins. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put some spikes around here as well. I've got an extra concrete base down here. Now this is all solid too. So it's a 7x7 seven seven solid base. I heard a zombie here. So if they do decide for whatever reason they want to beat on this, there's just no way they're going to get through it. And I'll hear them up here. I don't have any way to shoot down. But I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to worry about Molotovs either for this one. Okay, so let's go. I got a ton of stuff here I want to sell. So we're going to go do that. Uh, let's drop the bike down. And let's go. I gassed up. So we're going to go to the traders first. Actually, you know what? Let's go grab this. Um, actually, how far does that drop? Might be too far away. Yeah, it's way past the... Wow. Way out there, eh? We'll get that on the way out. We're going to go to the traders first. I don't know if they'll have anything we need. I might buy uh, 9mm ammo. But I've still got like like 750 rounds at home. And I'm carrying an additional ooh, additional 500 on me. So I, I got lots of rounds. And I can make more. I've got tons of uh, enough brass and enough lead to make um, you know another 1,000 more. Alright. So let's go see what he's got. I want to see if I can find a BDU top as well. Because I've just got a flannel shirt on right now. And that flannel shirt's not doing much. The BDU top will give me more protection from cold and stuff. Howdy, survivor. How are you Some doing? Cold. What do you got? Let's sell all this stuff off. I don't think he's got much for us. Okay, you'll buy the wrenches, eh? Nice. Pistols. Alright, got some more ammo. And diamonds. 450. Gold nuggets. 840. Silver nuggets. 337. Gas barrels. 5,925. Good thing you're rich, buddy. Let's get rid of this crap ammo. We have extra shades we can sell for 75. Crappy fire axe. An old shotgun. Oh, you don't want interest in that, eh? You take the old money. All right, so we got a fair amount of money on us here. So is there anything we want? We don't need the helmet. Oh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, you too. Um, let's have a look at ourselves here. So I have the military leg armor, the level 6 military leg armor that we had, I decided to put that on. It is better than the leather armor we had. So I was able to do that. And the triple pocket uh, schematic that we picked up, I put it in. So now we're almost... Um, maxed out here for our carrying capacity. Uh, I also made a military fiber, fiber helmet. Um, I forgot you needed acid for military fibers, so it's a good thing we picked up that acid when we did. So, and I was able to put the military plating and the uh, helmet light in, so we got a military uh, helmet on now, which is nice. So our armor rating is actually not that bad. Let's have a look real quick here. We're only wearing light armor too, so we got armor rating of 33, which is pretty good for what we have. And then I made steel armor as well, so. All right, what do you got, buddy? Uh, modifiers. Let's have a look at those first. A foregrip. Handling and aiming accuracy. I'm going to buy that. Um, probably use that for the AK or something. Or the shotgun even. Um, what do you got in your special stitch? Grave digger we don't need. Magazine extender. We'll buy that. Because um, we can put it on the AK or whatever. Um, hmm. 
Nothing else here I really want. That's the weird thing. There's not much really that I want to buy anymore. Uh, you don't have any more rounds. So you got bullet tips though. How much is that? 500 for all those? Oh, I'll buy those. Um, it's less stuff that we have to make. It's like, you know, it's two lead per bullet per bullet tip or something like that. So that's 500 lead that we don't have to get. Uh, resources. Do you have any? Where's your resources here? Resources. 30 lead. That's not really worth it. Military fiber. 100 for one, eh? Gonna buy that just so we don't have to make it. Bottle of acid. It's hard to find, so he's got it. We might as well take it. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. Y'all come back now. I will. Uh, do you got any jobs by any chance? Seven hundred and something. Can you help me with a problem? Staff of shipment at cabin A. Yeah, Good. I can do that. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Does it? I don't know. All right, let's go. Actually, we're going to head over. Ah, yeah, you know what? I don't know what's closer. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Where's that cabin at? Up here. All right, we're going to go to the other trader first. Um, then we'll head up there. All right, here we are. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got today. I wonder if those, uh, we haven't been here in a while. I should check to see if anything is re respawned in those and crates and stuff. What do you got for inventory? Actually, yeah, let's just see what you got here. I'm going to go with um, this first. Scrap plating. We got lots of those. Muzzle brake. We got an eight times scope thing at home. We don't need to buy one. We got to make that still, though. Muzzle brake, diverse propellant gases to reduce recoil. Well, we could put that on the AK. That would be helpful. What do you got here? Serrated blade. Uh, yeah, nothing I really want. Um, chemicals, you don't have any. Okay. Was looking for acid there, but we don't really have any. Uh, ammo weapons, 9mm, 154. It's a couple thousand. What, am, what else am I going to use the money for, though, really? Oh, well, you know what? Let's just buy these instead. We got tons of gunpowder. Don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, I think we'll just go that route. I mean, I could buy more 9mm, but... Another airdrop. Thank God you're done browsing. Yeah, I know. Charge for that. Will ya? Another airdrop over there. Okay, cool. So I guess we're gonna go clear out that building here in a second. I just wanna go check to see if these munition crates are Oh, here we go. Nice. Ah, four H E rockets. And there's one more up here on top. Let's go check that out. Oops, I left the door open last time. It's cold out here. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, okay. I'd love to be able to use those rockets against the zombies on Horde Night, but you know what? I don't want to blow up our base while we're doing it. So, I won't be. Alright, let's have a look here. Oh, that guy's getting mad at the dirt down there. Alright, how close is the other airdrop? Oh, they got... It's just north of us. And over here. Alright, let's hit the airdrop that we just got first. And then we're going to go do that quest. And let's get a count going to see if we can hit some zombies on the way up there. Give us something to do. Okay, here's our first candidate right here. Hello! Woohoo! 
Second candidate. Whoa. I better slow down. I can't see where I'm going. All right. Okay, that's going to be right here somewhere. I think. I think I'm close. Here's a rabbit. Oh, there it is. There we go. And nothing. There's Mo. What you doing, Mo? Whining and complaining, I see. I hate driving through this biome. Is that the cabin there? Could be. Whoa! Landmine! Gotta watch out for landmines. That's it right there. Oh, for... Seriously? Did I bring any bandages? Hey, guess what? I didn't bring any bandages. I'm gonna bleed out in the middle of nowhere. Well, let's go look for some cloth. <laughs> Please, no radiated zombies. Oh. Okay, I hear somebody outside here. Yeah. Oops, I seriously wasn't reloaded. How could I not have been reloaded? How is that even possible? I loaded the damn thing before I left. Okay, that's where he was. Good thing I know this house. Okay, that guy's a crawler. Why do I think there's a horde outside? It sure as hell sounds like it. Yep, that's a horde.
Well, if you ever want to figure out how to deal with a horde in early game, here you go. As long as they don't knock out the stairs from under me. still somebody around see this house is kind of an interesting house to start off in because you can knock all these out right and then you put in um, railings that are flat to the floor and then when the railings are flat to the floor You can just stand up and shoot down on these guys. Makes it a little easier. But still, this isn't bad either. Okay. Still somebody outside. Fuck's sakes. Okay, what is she doing down here? Well, there really is no accounting for the intelligence of zombies. Oh, there it is. Nice. Worst thing about it is she's down there wrecking all my stuff. Somebody sleeping inside here. Okay, nice. Could have gone a little better, but we didn't get our ass killed, considering we have actually no healing on us. Really? There's like no cloth at all. I hear you down there. Stop being a jerk. I'm not going to wrench these beds. What's the point? Ooh, duffel bag. Eh, maybe he'll buy that rifle from me. Nothing. Where are you? And shut you up for good. Oh, there's more. Still one more. Sounds like more than one. Oh. Serves you right for being a jerk. Oh, 415 bucks, man. Just 
Still more. Really? You know, and I made a bunch of, like, first aid stuff. And they're going, yeah, I can't remember. I can't forget to take this with me next time. Apparently I can. You out here making all the noise. Well, don't say it. I was just about, just about to say it's a good thing there's no dogs. You know what happens when I say stupid things like that. Okay, I need to get more coal too. Starting to run low. Acid? Nope. Well, this place has a whole lot of nothing in it. Let's scrap this. Um, gonna use all four of these. All right. Gonna use that. Yeah, a couple of these. Because taking that pain medication makes you thirsty. Well, any toilet ammo? Nope. Oh, what do we got here? A whole lot of nothing. All right, well. Uh, we don't have room to get the other uh, drop. I could put stuff in the bike, but don't really feel like it. So let's head back home. I want to work a little bit more on the base. Get things a little bit better and more in order. Wow. Okay, this is a bad idea. Good thing I'm a skilled motorcyclist. Okay, that's a lot of mountain in between me and the uh, trader. Oh, come on, you can do it. Get up this road. Well, if someone's going to go through the trouble of pushing the shopping cart all the way out here for one tin of nothing. Uh, where's our trader? He's over here. I was just going to say, it's just we should uh, at least have a look and see what's in it. Someone's going to push that all the way out there. Got to repair this bike too. Although it's, you know what, for all my crazy driving, it's been holding up really well. It's only at 75%. The fact that I drove over a landmine too. Because I'm skilled like that, you know. Alright, let's see what he's got for us. Let's well, sell some stuff first if we can. We can't. Oh, oh, wow. What's worth more? That's worth 86. That's worth 82. <laughs> it's just... Okay, I'll just sell it back to you, man. Whatever. Just give it to me. I'll sell it back to you. Um, oh, this can get sold. Can sell that. Um... Oh, I can sell that. Sell these. It's not going to buy the stone arrow, but I don't want it. Um, what about the nail gun? Yeah, I can buy that for 215 We got 10 nails back for that, too. Oh, pickaxe. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, you didn't want this guy. Oh, I should have tried to sell this at the other trader. Oh, well. 418 too. All right, well. Y'all come back now. No, I want to see what else you got, man. Um, 1.4 kilometer fetch, eh? 1.2 kilometer clear zombies at a barn. Well, alrighty then. 
Let's get the ball rolling. Oh, way over there again? Where is it? Oh, I'm pulling, right, it's north. Oh, it's just up in this next town. Well, we got to go get coal anyway, so we could go up there and hit, hit up some of those things up there and get some coal. Um, yeah. Could do it right now. I want to do it. I mean, we could just hold up and... Ah, uh, you know what? we got stuff we have to do before Horde Night, so I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do it tomorrow. Um... We gotta make some more ammo. I don't know if 500 darts is gonna be enough. Once I turn that thing on, it's gonna burn through that ammo pretty quick, I think. I gotta make some more darts, make a couple thousand more. So it's another 500 per. I mean, it is a day 60 horde, so. Just have to see how it goes. And I should clear out this building again, too. We got a little bit of time. Tell you what, let's just put this stuff away real quick. Pick up the bike. Come on, pick up the bike. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to keep it empty so we can just pick it up and bring it inside. Oh yeah, they knocked this, those guys that broke in had knocked this door out completely, um, damaged a whole bunch of stuff. Like it was crazy what they did. Uh, and I have no idea how they got in. I still don't have any idea. The only thing I can think of is they spawned in the backyard and beat their way in. Uh, but that's about all I can think of. Alright. Um, empty water bottles can go in here, which are here. Ammo. Um, now we can just merge these together. Let's put our... Um, Put those in there for now. Oops, the ammo, HE. Uh, down here, repair kits. Um, and up here, shotgun and cash. Um, yep, and then in here, let's just put all this stuff. Acid military fiber can go in there. This I'm going to put downstairs. Uh, ammo. These can go in there. Wood. And then let's grab, before I forget, we got so many med kits. Let's grab one of those. Take that with us next door. We're going to go next door. Let's put the bike down uh, so it's ready to go for next time. And it's raining. Now we got frames, right? Yeah. I had to fix these spikes. I had like 30 something I had to replace there the other day. We knocked out. Did they break in here? They didn't break in here. All right. Nobody in here? Alright, we're going down. Is this workbench functional? Did I? It is. Mamo. Oh, we got some nasty boys in here, eh? Where are you going? Get back over here. If 
Hopefully they didn't destroy any of the loot boxes. Nope, looks like everything's still intact. Ah, oh, rebar frames and some acid. Alright, well. That was quick. What do we got in here? Nothing. Alright, well. Could have been better, but... At least it was easy. What do we got left here? What? You know what? We got a bit of time. Let's see if we can hit this house up a bit. Definitely going to need XP. We've been getting so many screamers lately at the house. I've been trying to like avoid um, running the forges and stuff now unless I absolutely have to. Like it seems like every 30 seconds or so another screamer shows up. It was ridiculous at one point. Getting that juicy XP. That's what you call a boom headshot. I'm going the wrong way. This is not a good way to come in this house. Is that a foot? That looks like a foot to me. Oh, we got a military guy here. We had a military guy there. Wow. Died to a foot shot. Stop it. creep up here. Got an hour left. Okay, so far they've all been normals. if we have anybody in here. Looks pretty quiet. That's trash. Okay. Clear. Let's have a look. Some nails to take those. Come on. Suitcase. Shotgun rounds for free. Take those. Nothing in there. Alright, now I think we knocked this safe open the last time we were here. We, d oh, we didn't? Guess not. I ain't going downstairs. We don't have time for that. But we will knock this out. Eh, stuff we can sell, stuff we can sell, and I might as well pick this up, just because. Now, we probably have at least one more zombie down in the main floor. I should take these things, too. The only reason is to get them the hell out of the way for the next time I come in here. Okay. Probably going to be somebody in this wardrobe too. Yep. Well, at least she was a walker. Little bit of vitamins in my life. Um, that looks like it's about it. 
then we're outside. So I ain't going down there. Not with 15 minutes left till morning. Or, you know what I mean, 15 minutes left until the uh, zombies are all runners. We will loot this place. All right, let's get out of here. So, not a bad day. Not a bad day overall. Five minutes to go. Yeah, so like I said, there's screamers coming all the time. And um, those zombies that broke in, I don't know what they did. But you can see here, some damage there and there. They had destroyed a bunch of the spikes in here, so I made them all steal. Now, I don't know if they can actually... Maybe they went out this way. Maybe that's what happened. They must have spawned like in the backyard or something. It's the only thing I can think of. But I don't know why they did damage up the wall like that. Just have no idea what they were doing. Anyway, going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we go out, I'll make sure I have my bandages on me. Um, we might hit up another POI before the, the horde hits. we got time. I mean, I'll make sure the ramp is built the day of. And I don't really think there's much more prep we need to do other than getting some more. Um, let's actually get those going now. Let's get another uh, 2,000 rounds. Um, 1140, eh? A couple thousand rounds so we're gonna need a little bit more wood so we'll get those going now and we'll have those ready for horde night and then um, when the horde night does come around we'll be ready to go uh, I don't need to do much else um, I do have my spikes ready that should be enough I do have my spikes ready um, let's grab some more iron to burn uh, like these uh, iron spikes and stuff like that. I do have barbed wire, but I don't know if I'll end up using it. We've got wooden spikes to, to drop down to. I have a second spotlight, but I don't think we're going to need it. What I might do, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. This blade trap, I'd love to use it, but um, it's just going to get damaged and destroyed. And like, what's the point? Um, I mean, I guess I could. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go yet. But uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm leaving the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. I'm going to sit here and have a little bit to drink. And until next time, we'll see you later.